Okay, I have taken a time lapse with the GoPro with 11 megapixel pictures. This is in this folder. So I pick one. This is how this looks like. This is an insanely large picture. If I go to inspector here, I can see this was taken with the GoPro and we have 3840 by 2880 pixels. Now, I need to import this into Final Cut Pro. What is not a big deal. I'm just going to show how this works here. What we need is um, QuickTime 7, right? QuickTime 7. And in QuickTime 7, we can import or open an image sequence. So going in there, um, in my temporary folder here, I have this, this folder here. That's where all the pictures are in. 430 some, I think. And how this works in the software is you click the first one and then say open. And then you specify how fast you want to play it in the movie later. So I want 24 frames per second. This is how I planned my project. So how often I did every 60 seconds in image and uh, I want 24 frames per second. So easy. Say OK. What it will do now, it will import them into QuickTime. Now, this will display larger than my screen. So I cannot display the 3800 by whatever pixel. Um, I do not want to modify the size of this window because we export in the actual visible size, right? Now, we don't say save as or save. We are going to export. Very important step. We name this thing. So I name this sequence and we want to save in the folder of your liking. I, in my case, leave it above my original image folder. We want to export to QuickTime Movie. Movie to X QuickTime Movie. That's one thing. Then we want to go to Options, Settings. I go with Apple Pro Resolution 422. I can have the current frames per second. That's what we specified earlier. Or I can save 24 again. It doesn't matter. 24. This is what we want. I don't do anything else in here. We say OK. Um, we don't prepare for internet streaming. We make sure the size is correct here. 3842 880. Current size of the window. If we change the size of the window, this will change to whatever. So we need to make sure that that is the original size of the image. We make sure in not changing the size of this uh, window here. Okay, then we say save. And now we see export sequence. This is what we need. That will take a minute. Um, I'm probably going to fast forward this now. So we are almost done here. Um, why does it take so long? We have uh, nine megabyte pixel, um, nine megabyte images, and 437 of them. And we convert this to Apple ProRes. Now, I'm going to close this window. It will ask me if I want to save it. I don't because I don't need this anymore. It created a sequence here, sequence movie. That's what we wanted with 1.3 gigabytes out of. This folder, I believe, had four. Let's see. Four gigabytes for my pictures. <coughs> so this is the quarter of the size now. Now we are going to use Final Cut. I open a new project for this. I name my project, so I call it new project. Uh, I don't need a default event. It doesn't matter. I can, or I have to, use custom. And then I select what I want. So I can do anything I want. Uh, I can do a 4K movie or a 2K movie. Never did this before. Well, I could, but I don't want to. So I want to do a 720p, right? Um, this is my resolution, my frame rate. I do the same as I used in the, in the imported thing before. Okay, so this is my new project and then I just grab this clip 
and put it in the timeline. So if I see now in the timeline, let's zoom in a little. There it is. I can now skim over here left and right and have this nicely follow every single, there's no sluggishness or anything. I select this. Now this would be the full size. If I want 16 to 9, like my real movie, I would have to scale this thing. So let's scale it so that uh, it's all covered, left and right. And then what I can do is this, I can skim here back and forth. You see, my sun is going from left to right. This is the highest point up here. Right, so my image does really, really well. So I can go if I want more sky. Can adjust where I want this here, maybe. Okay, and when I play this, it plays now in uh, real time. That's how it would be later. If I want this faster, I could speed it up. If I have to, it's an option. But I think this looks very good, and yeah, that's how you get it in here. Um, there's not much more to do. Say you could use uh, effect like lock and load, for example, to just to undistort the lens. Right, if that makes you happy, because in the wide screen resolution, it's sometimes a little. You see here my camera moved at the beginning. So you might want to cut out the first image here. Is that true? What do we have here? There, this one this and then oh that looks good very good and then from here we can export to let's say compressor and have this thing 